This is Pentaceratops, a ceratopsian from the late Cretaceous period and known for the five distinctive horns on its face. Pentaceratops was discovered in North America where as many as 12 fossils were found and weighed up to five tons. All right, hello everybody. We've been getting a ton of ceratopsians lately and so we have Pentaceratops here. But let's go through the subspecies right quick. This is our base variants right here. Doesn't seem to have any stat differences, but it looks really nice. The frill is huge absolutely massive next we have speculative quills where you can see on the back right here and along the tail as well as the horns are slightly different they point up and a little bit longer our horn and frill variation you can see the horns definitely got longer and the frill is definitely wider we also lost the quills on the back and the tail this is another horn and frill variation the horns just curve downwards they don't go up and we don't have any quills on the back and our frill is pretty much the same our next one is navajo ceratops you can see the hump on the back is smoothed out the skull right here has elongated with the face the frill is a bit longer and we have shorter horns up top we have have terminocavus the face has shrunk back up we have these l-shaped horns on the top and the body is a little bit smaller overall we still have relatively big frill but not as big as the other variants and then back to our base variant actually let's look at the female skin first here we go we're basically a light brown and a light yellow on the frill otherwise looks pretty much the same let's go through the calls right quick first up we have broadcast I like that. That's really smooth. The sound is pretty natural to me and you can see the throat rumbling. Two call. Oh, I don't know. That sounds more four call-ish to me. Threaten. Ooh, I like that. It's a bit more aggressive. Definitely has a shake and a roar with it. Four call. I like the animation for it for sure. And the sound kind of is generic to me but other than that pretty good talk that's a pretty good talk emote it's a nice little rumble shake looks good very fluid uh stretch there you go head down foot out and then right back up look around That's pretty nice. It reminds me of Alberta Ceratops. Look around emo. And mystery? Mm, I'm gonna give that a territorial emote possibly or challenge emote. That's what it looks like to me. And then our invite is the same as our two call. All right, here is our baby model. It looks really, really good. I love this baby model, honestly. I love the way the frill looks. Everything is super small, very cute and babyified. You've got a little nub right here for the nose horn. But let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have broadcast. Oh, that was excellent. I like that a lot. Oh, it's so good. Two call. Very nice. Threaten. It is very loud for the baby, like very, very loud. Four call. I don't know why, but that one sounds kind of robotic to me. Does it sound like that to you? I don't know. Talk. Very good. Shake. I love it. Stretch. Big stretch. Oh yeah, and a little shake. Look around. I love the baby skin, by the way. This brown is very fitting. Mystery. Yeah, that's our territorial emote. Babies being territorial is kind of funny, though. All right, let's see some of our baby animations. Here's our walk. Oh, it's a very, very slow run, basically. On the left. On our front. See our run. That's much faster. That's nice. Very nice. Let's see if we have a jump right quick. Yes, baby has a jump. Very, very nice. All right, and here's our adult model. It looks fantastic. It is way bigger than the baby as well. 
I mean, just look at him and all his majesty and all his glory. Let's go through the animations right quick. First up is our walk. Hmm, yeah. The same kind of slowness as the baby. It actually looks a little bit similar to Eo Triceratops' walk, which makes sense since they're both like Ceratopsians. Uh, here's our side view and us from the front. Here's our run. From the side, a little bit faster than the walk, like at least noticeably faster. And you got quite a wide turn. Now we're gonna do our precise movement. So here we go. That's not bad at all. That's actually really fast. Nice. And to our left, the side shuffle is kind of slow. To our right. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing that. And then back. Also very slow. But you turn and walk backwards pretty fast. So that's a plus. All right, let's take a seat. You lay all the way down. Pretty nice. Looks really good, actually. And sleep. We basically just plop over onto our side. Doesn't look like we have any. Oh, never mind. There's some idle animations there. Having a little bit of a dream. All right, get up. Takes a second. It is very slow, like most of our apex dinosaurs. Next, we're going to do our crouch. Basically stancing up, not really even a crouch at all. <laughs> crouch walk. Very slow, very kind of intimidating. Almost too slow. All right, here's our drinking animation. There you go. It's a very simple, straightforward drinking animation. Doesn't seem to really do anything else than this, so. And then here's our swim animation. It's pretty nice. I'm glad he can carry his frill. Um, the animation for the legs looks pretty good underwater. And you have a decent speed. You're not super, super slow. You're not fast either. Even in swim speed, it's not that fast. All right, here's our eating animation. And there we go. It's pretty simple. It looks basically the same as like the EO Triceratops eating animation. All right, let's go through these skins right quick. This is our default male skin here. Then we have Badlands, Latifrons, Reaper, Blueberry, Apple, Morpho, Thunderlord, Jacksons, Albino, and Melanistic. Mm, the skins are okay. I don't love them, but I don't hate them either. I do think they could be better. Let's go through the abilities right quick. I'm guessing this is a second senses thing. Balanced. Then we have plus 5% defensive, plus 5% health regen, plus 5% attack damage, and plus 5% speed. We have two head slots here. First up, we have bite, a quick bite that deals medium damage and low bleed. Then we have crushing beak, a slow bite that deals low damage, applies a status called rupture for 30 seconds, slowing movement speed by 5% on hit. Stacks three times for a 15% speed reduction. Stacks deplete simultaneously. Then we have headbutt, a quick headbutt that deals medium damage, low knockback, and low bleed. Lastly, we have head smash, high damage and high bleed. Applies a status called off balance for 60 seconds, increasing your opponent's knockback taken by 5%. So I'm guessing we're gonna have some abilities that do knockback. For senses, we have berserker. When low on health, your attacks cool down 25% faster and deal 10% more damage. Stampede increases the damage by 2.5% for each Ceratopsian in the group. Stacks up to four times. That's pretty good. Stoic Defender increases your armor by 10% if there's another Ceratopsian in your group. That's pretty good too. Front Limb Shove Short Shoulder Check that deals medium damage and high knockback. Applies a status called Off Balance for 60 seconds, increasing your opponent's knockback taken by 5%. Metabolism, we have Herbivore, able to eat berries and fruit, moderate food drain. Forager, able to eat flowers, nuts, roots, and fruit, faster food drain. Osteophage, able to eat bones, and roots, and nuts, slow food drain, fast water drain, increased bone break heal. That's pretty good if it's depending on how much it is. Hide, we have Resilient Scales, increases bleed and venom healing by 30%. That's pretty standard. Tough Shoots, increases armor by 15%. That's also pretty standard. Legs, we have Strong Legs, takes 40% less knockback and 15% increased bone break healing. That's good. Barrel Down, Charge Forward, dealing high damage and high bleed on contact. Ah, that's the first charge that does bleed that I've seen at least so far. Back Limb, Armored Rear, damage and status effects inflicted to your tail is dramatically reduced. Our tail is pretty tiny. 
<laughs> like it's not super huge but i get it brace for impact after crouching for 10 seconds gain 15 percent damage reduction at the cost of five percent of your outgoing damage effect dissipates when uncrouched that could kind of be good 15 percent is not too too much of a difference but it might save your life so maybe defiant after crouching for 10 seconds, gain 50% outgoing damage at the cost of 5% of your bleed resistance. Effect dissipates when uncrouched. Same thing. Kick. Back kick that deals medium damage and low knockback. Applies a status called off balance for 60 seconds, increasing your opponent's knockback taken by 5%. So yes, a lot, a lot of knockback on here for this creature. And then we have two voice slots. First up, we have Daunting Roar. Let out a daunting roar that intimidates nearby creatures, reducing their damage output by 15% for 15 seconds, stacks twice. 15 seconds isn't very long, and I'm not sure how helpful that would really be. Enrage, increase your damage by 15% and your damage resistance by 5% for 30 seconds. That one's probably a little bit better. All right, let's go through the ability animations. First up, we have Bite. Oh, that's pretty fast and quick. Very interesting. Next we have Crushing Beak. This is basically the same as the bite animation, but a little bit slower. Next we have Headbutt. Also pretty fast. Doesn't have too long of a cooldown. I like it. After that we have Head Smash. Whoa, that's pretty violent. That does high bleed and high damage. Uh, next we have Shove. Oh, it's kind of like a forward head thrash thing that's an interesting animation i think and that's going to give you that off balance debuff where you take more knockback yeah pretty cool though next we have barrel down which is basically this charge it looks pretty good that's going to do high damage and bleed so next we have brace for impact you got to crouch first and it takes like nine seconds to build up which is a long time so i don't know how useful this is going to be for you but that gives you 15 percent damage reduction from attacks people attacking you but your damage outgoing damage is also reduced by five percent then we have defiant which you also have to crouch for it takes nine seconds to take effect but that's going to increase your damage by 15 percent but also make you take five percent more bleed damage our next move is kick it's a little slow, but that's going to give your opponents the off balance debuff. So if you want them to take more knockback, definitely hit them with that. Then we have our voice abilities. First up is Daunting Roar. Ah, oh, it sounds awesome, but the animation is definitely from EO Triceratops. But that's going to give your opponents a 15% damage reduction for 15 seconds, which is decent. And lastly, we have Enrage. Ooh, that's a pretty new animation. I like that one. But that's going to give you 15% more damage for 30 seconds, which is probably the one I will be using more often. And that's about it for Pentaceratops here. My opinion is that you should definitely be fighting on cliffs with this guy, and you should take full advantage of the fact that almost every ability it has does damage and bleed. So you could really wait people out a little bit. Other Apexes are not really going to want to be near you when you can do both high damage and bleed. And it's going to make them think twice about fighting you near any cliff where you can push them off with the amount of knockback that you're allowed to do with this guy. I really love the sounds for Pendaceratops and some of the animations are kind of something that I'm used to from other Ceratopsians, which is fine, but it still looks really good. The model itself is fantastic and the animations are very smooth and solid. So definitely give Pentaceratops a try and see how well it holds up against other Apexes or even against mid-tiers because it is a bit smaller than our other Ceratopsians. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to try out my other videos. I cover a lot of different mods and games that you might not have heard of. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.